Hi guys! This video is about how can we use Excel and how can we enter data into Excel. We call them labels and values. So Excel is a spreadsheet. First of all, you have to make sure you've got Windows Microsoft Office and you've got Excel. Open up a blank workbook and you can start over here. Now, as you can see, you've got at the top those letters and each letter represents column. And in the other side, you've got numbers and each number represents a row. We're going to know and learn how do we insert labels. And when I say labels, I mean text. And how do we format it? Now, first we created this spreadsheet and we're going to insert some data. So insert the data with me. So these are the things that we want to enter into our spreadsheet. Now, as you can see, I typed into those cells in this column A. And if you can notice, the words are going to the other cells. This doesn't mean that I typed in these cells. No, these are still empty. So in order to fix how it looks, first of all, we need to click and drag the line between those columns. So once you see this cursor turn into a double uh, arrow like this, you can click and drag to make it fixed or you can double click and it will fit until the last word that it sees. So we've got this one for example, it's the last word that it sees. Or you can just click it here until it, it fits only this word home. So this doesn't matter actually if it fits all or not. But you have to know that these words are not written here. If I type here anything, I still can type it. You see the words are hidden behind this cell. But if I delete them, if I delete them like this, it will reappear. So, when we type in one cell, everything stays inside this one cell. It doesn't go to other cells as we see it. Alright, so we typed our text. Now we're going to change the format. We started with the column and now we can use bold to make it bold. You know bold, guys. We use bold in Microsoft Word anyway. So, we can also make it bigger in size. So, this is basically entering the data. Now, also, you can enter the values. And when I say values, I mean numbers. So, I'm going to enter the numbers here. So, these are the numbers of students who want to be these things when they grow up, actually. <laughs> Anyways, you see how many. Anyway, so that's all. You're going to enter the text, you're going to try it out, and it's going to be pretty much easy. So try it, and let me know your feedback.